Minnesotans know this to be true. Backyard ice rinks are special places. Skates, scraping, laughter echoing, they mean family time and community. But in tonight's Land of 10,000 Stories, Boyd Hooper also shows us they can mean even more. Valentines and roses can say affection. Hey, hey, hey. But in Foley, Minnesota, a backyard hockey rink Get it, Ma. says love. I've tied seven pair of skates today. The rink where Beth Harrison, my hands are going to fall off, daughter Isla, <laughs> and son Beckham can be found I'm all good. at a time in their lives um, they have never felt more lost. I feel a lot of responsibility for for my family. He's always been the best dad ever. It's, it's always been for his kids. Beth's husband, Brad, the kind of dad who'd design a luge course for his children, <laughs> host their outdoor movie nights. Absolutely and talk his reluctant wife into a backyard rink. I was completely against it. <laughs> I didn't want the upkeep. I didn't want to deal with it. So I said, fine, you know, but I'm hands off. Brad, on the other hand, was all in. This was his accomplishment. It was a way for him to spend tons of time with the kids. The high school hockey player turned hockey coach to his kids, built both a rink and the life of which he dreamed till everything came apart. He was diagnosed January 21st of 2020. <laughs> of small cell carcinoma of the prostate. Beth had wrongly thought she'd prepaid her family's cancer dues after her own battle with stage three breast cancer three years earlier, a battle her husband couldn't win. Beth and Brad spent all of last summer at a lakeside campsite making memories with their children before sharing with them what fall would bring. We just held them and tried to answer their questions. But it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Also hard for Beth's husband, who recorded for his wife and kids this video. I hope that, you know, they can they can be okay with me being gone and that you know I just worry a lot it's gonna be hard Brad's hockey friends asked if there was anything they could do you want to do something you don't know what to do the only thing that I couldn't do myself was this rink. All Beth needed to say. We're a tight-knit group, us hockey families. <laughs> for this tight-knit group to show up November 1st, study Brad's hand-drawn blueprints, and assemble his rink. 12 days before he died, barely able to get to his bedroom window, Brad looked out and saw love. So this time of year was one of Dad's favorites, obviously. Yeah. Now, a season later. And he loved to skate with you guys. <laughs> His wife and kids are bringing Brad back to his place. Can I walk? You okay? <laughs> it was a way to keep Brad with the kids for a little bit longer. Brad's rink, now lovingly tended by the half of his marriage that once hadn't wanted it. He would be very proud that I did it. And he, he would know that I did it for the kids just like he would have. Three months since Brad's death. No, no! Beth, her kids, and an assortment of friends spend every free minute on the ice, confident if they are here. Tonight was so fun. It was. Then Brad is here too. You're part of the family! Oh he was the best dad. He really was. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News. Okay, you wanna help me? Foley. Beth has been sharing her experiences with her breast cancer and losing her husband in a blog. And you'll find a link along with the story on care11.com. Bell's in the backyard right now. What a mom. What a wow. mom. Wow. No kidding. Beautiful story.